going to show you that Islam is a violent, murderous, bloody religion from their own sources, from the Quran, and compare it with the Holy Bible and see how, no, they are not the same, and that the God of the Quran, Allah, is not the God of the Bible. So first of all, the Quran literally says that someone who wants to be exempt from killing infidels is not even saved. This is Quran chapter 9, verse 44 to 45. Those who believe in Allah and the last day would ask would not ask permission of you to do to be excused uh, from striving with their wealth and with their lives. Uh, and Allah is knowing of those who fear Him. Only those who would ask permission of you would do not who do not believe in Allah and the last day and whose hearts have, have doubted, and they in their doubt are hesitating. So it's basically saying if you don't want to kill infidels, you're probably not even saved. Insanity. The Quran also says that pe that Muslims will kill and be killed for Allah. Quran chapter nine verse uh, one hundred and eleven. Indeed, Allah has purchased the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for that they will have paradise. They fight in the cause of Allah, so they killed and are killed. It is the true is the true promise upon Him in the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. Uh, who is the truer to the covenant than Allah? So rejoice in your transaction, which ye have contracted, and it is that which is the great attainment. So he talks about always in the gospel and the, and the Torah. Well, let's we're going to compare it with the gospel later on and see that no, it's not the same. Next point: the Quran commands Muslims to kill non-Muslims. Quran chapter nine, verse number five. And when the sacred months have passed, kill the polytheists wherever you find them and capture them and besiege them, and sit and wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they should repent, establish prayer, and give zakah, uh, let them go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And by the way, when it says polytheists, it's basically saying people who pick up polytheists, you know, obviously polytheism is, you know, uh, false, because it basically needs to believe in more than one God. But they lump Bible-believing Christians in with the polytheists, because Bible-believing Christians, we believe in the biblical Godhead. So, we're lumped in with polytheists. Next point. The Quran says that Muslims will cast terror into the hearts of non-Muslims. Quran chapter 3 verses 151. We will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve for what they have associated with Allah of which he had not sent down authority and the refuge will be the fire of wretched and wretched is the residence of the wrongdoers. And the same thing is repeated in Quran 8.12 where the Quran says that Allah will cast terror into the hearts of non-Muslims. Quran chapter 8 verse number 12 Remember when your Lord inspired to the angels, I am with you, so strengthen those who have believed. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieved, and strike upon them the necks, and strike from them every fingertips, or for every fingertip. Now, this proves, because Muslims are commanded to kill and be killed for Allah. Islam is a uh, violent, murderous religion. But let's compare that with the Word of God, the Holy Bible. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 18 says that Christians are supposed to live peaceably. As the Bible says, Christians are supposed to live peaceably. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Same thing is repeated in Romans chapter 14, verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify one another, or one edify another. Jesus Christ himself said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And finally, God is called the God of peace. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. So again, we're supposed to live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. How does that line up with, with the false pagan moon god of Islam, Allah? It says in the Quran, he'll cast terror into the hearts of non-Muslims. He'll strike off their fingertips. You know, Muslims are supposed to kill and be killed for Allah. Islam is a violent, murderous religion. It's against what the Word of God says. We're supposed to live peacefully. Blessed are the peacemakers. 
That simple. We're not told to go out and war and, and kill people to convert to, to believing in Jesus Christ. No. Christians are supposed to lovingly go out and preach the gospel. Now we tell them, you know, hey, um, you're on your way to hell. You need to get saved. And we give them a gospel presentation. But we don't have the force them to convert by the edge of the sword. That's what Islam does. And also what Roman Catholicism does too, which, you know, unsurprisingly, Islam is a, you know, a creation of Roman Catholicism. It's the daughter of the harlot, Roman Catholicism. That simple. The pagan Roman Catholic Church created the pagan religion of Islam. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.